Hey guys, this is Trade back with another video, and today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up new fortification for my pond. So I've continued to have heron problems. It went away for a few days to a week, and then it came back and tried to get my fish when we weren't home. So now I, bet a real, I bought a really heavy duty and good net, and I'll pop a picture up on the screen of what it's supposed to look like. But now I'm going to go unbox it and show you what comes in it. Okay, so now I'm going to go and unbox this, and I'm going to be careful to unbox it because I don't want to accidentally cut any of the uh, netting in here. So this is a 17 by 14 foot netting, so it's big, and hopefully I got it so it could cover the waterfall just to make sure everything is okay. So it's actually packaged really nicely, and this is my first time opening one of these. It comes in actually a big pouch, which is really nice for storage. So that's actually a lot neater and nicer than I thought. So opening this up and then I'll save this because then in the summer, if I don't need this netting, I could just store it in this. But again, that's a really nice feature. I didn't even know that came with it. So now they have ribbon tied around it, which again is nice to keep it nice and compact so i like that feature and then i guess i'm just going to start here yeah, here we go so here's the pegs to set it up and again you'll see the picture earlier on what it's supposed to look like so it'll be a better explanation but here's the pegs and then here's the actual netting and then here's what's comes in it so now I'm going to start and assemble this and I'll get back to you when it's almost done. So I'm about halfway done now and you can see I put this first pole. This is very easy to set up. I put this first pole all the way through and keep in mind I'm doing this all by myself. So this is definitely, the instructions say it is a two person job and it definitely would be easier. But I'm doing it on my own and it's honestly not too hard. But you just build this up over here. I'll show you how it's built. This is the main fiberglass support beam. And you just have to connect these two. So you'll put it in a straight line. But what you'll do is like right here, you can see they're supposed to be separate. They come like this separated. And all you have to do is put them together just like that. And then just do that for the whole row and that'll make a huge long pole just like this that goes the whole entire length and then what you do to insert it is you come over here and you can see there's a little opening right there and that's where you insert it and you just feed it through and then eventually it might pro it'll probably be a two-person job when you stand it up so i'm gonna have to stand this up and unlike the net I have on it right now you can see this is flat and you can actually see a bunch of the fish came out and today I've only seen two fish out so this is actually amazing that I came down here right now and you guys are seeing this because the heron's been so bad you can see there's my koi darting around and that's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen goldfish I'm counting right now and I'm pretty sure they're there's one more, if not, then the heron got two of them. But let me count again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, I see fourteen right now. And I don't see the little baby koi. But hopefully they do show up because that would suck for them to, you know, be eaten. But I don't think the heron's eaten any. But again, this is the first time any of them, besides one or two of them, have come out. So this is actually really good. And again, you can just see all of them now and they're the survivors so now to get back with this you can see this netting is flat against the pond like this this netting will actually go very high up it'll be a tall one that's what those stakes are for is it's a tall one so hopefully what the heron's doing is it's landing on top of the net and doing this and trying to get the fish through the netting where this one you know it'll be high up so hopefully it can't get any of the fish but now I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. Okay, so I just put up the tent with my parents and you can see here it is. 
and it is huge. I thought it was only going to be a couple feet high, but this is like 10 feet high. It's crazy how big it is. And you can see, I, I really don't think the heron can get into this because I kept that old net still on it. So there's this net, the new net that I just put on it, and then there's another one underneath that. So I do not think I can lose any fish. And you can see that it's all tied down here for wind. And I'll give it a shake. And you can see it's actually really sturdy, even though it doesn't look that good because, or it doesn't look that sturdy because there's no support in the middle. But I think this is going to be really good. And again, this is the net. So I don't think I should have any more heron problems. That's going to be it for the video. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.